unlike many attachments, the potato digger needs to be adjusted for the particular application that you have for it. So for example, the wheels of the potato digger move in and out on this sliding shaft and adjust to the width of your row. Now in my case, even though my centers of my row are 36 inches apart, these wheels are 32 inches apart because I'm looking to have them right at the base of the taper of my hill. And the concept there is that if the wheels on each side are right against the slope, then they're less apt to move either to the right or the left because the hill is actually helping to maintain a straight line forward. Similarly, I always lock out the differentials on my wheels so that they too are moving in a straight line. So our final step before beginning is we need to shorten the link on top by screwing this clockwise and that's what is now pulling our pan down and angling it more vertically so that we'll get as deep a depth as we want. The maximum possible is 15 centimeters or 6 inches below the level of the potato digger wheels and that should be just about right for um, this crop of potatoes. So we're going to begin now and do this next 50 feet of row and I have here a stopwatch so as to get an idea of how long it takes to do 50 feet. I'm going to be in first gear, turn my power takeoff on, offset the handlebars, give it a little bit of throttle and away we go. So that was 50 feet in a minute and 35 seconds. Thank you very much.